All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a sob for you today. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay on the videos. I have a ton of cars to video for you. Uh, it's just been extremely busy the past two weeks, so I have not had a chance to do any of them. So this will be my first one, and I'll go ahead and get the rest of them done today. This is a 80... I believe this is an 89. Uh, you guys can correct me on the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an 89 Saab 900. Uh, I'm not too worried about getting it wrong, honestly, because this car will be going through the crusher tomorrow. Uh, it is a five-speed manual transmission oh there's a wasp nest and it's active so I really don't want to tick them guys off so we'll just shut that nice and gently uh, this car is pretty darn ugly uh, I will admit I tried winning one of these when I was in high school they had a blue one they were giving away or raffling off in high school I was trying to win it but I did not. Maybe that's for a good thing because these are kind of weird looking cars. Uh, I mean, first off, the door is just awkward looking. How it has, it has no front end on it pretty much. It just comes straight up the body line and then right up to the top of the roof. Reminds me of a semi truck door. Uh, anyway, uh, manual windows, uh, manual transmission, five speed. Uh, it looks like it's a brownish burgundy color. Uh, obviously, the paint has faded horribly bad. It has rust pretty bad on it. The doors are rusted. The rockers are rusted. The quarters are rusted. Uh, but it's got cloth interior. And it's got heated seats, which I thought was a little interesting with this being as old as it is. Uh, there is no key for it, so I don't know if it runs, nor do I care. Uh, keys here in the center on a typical Saab. It looks like you got your fog lights. Manual transmission. Uh, nothing in the glove box. Uh, dash is cracked all up. Aftermarket CD player, heater, AC controls. You got your horn buttons, uh, has 208,681 miles. Fuel temp, quartz clock, and RPM with all your lights on the top. Uh, you got some dummy buttons here that probably had accessories. Uh, this one obviously does not have them. You got your light switch there, turn signal, stock, windshield wiper, stock. It has a roof glass that pops up. Well, I think it's broke. Nope. It's got a button. Alrighty. I uh, don't have a key to get in the trunk. Uh, we're going to use a loader to get in there. But they'll do that tomorrow. I mean, this car is just odd shaped. I mean, look at that glass. That is a weird shaped glass. The trunk is weird shaped. It's slanted down, almost kind of like a hatchback. The hood is just weird in general. The way you open this thing, the safety latch or the, the main latch has already popped. So it pops up and then you Flip the safety latch and then it slides all the way forward. So, like if you're in your garage, hopefully you have enough room in the front to lift the hood. So it slides all the way forward and then it flips backwards. I mean, I, I don't get it. That's the way they made them, I guess. Uh, the motor is weird as well. It's got a Bosch fuel injection system, which, you know, people love them or people hate them. I hear good things and then I hear bad things. 
Uh, your battery would sit down here next to the subframe rails. Uh, this thing appears to have a block heater on a gasoline motor, which is awfully weird. But this one here goes to the block and let's see, that's that one. This one here mounts underneath the battery to keep the battery warm. I don't, I don't know, but it goes on, it goes to this pad right here. And then this is sticking out in front of the grill so you can plug it up and it will keep your battery warm and heat the block up, which on a gasoline motor again, I don't understand. Uh, this is a weird motor. Like I said, the serpentine belts or the V-belts are next to the firewall. So obviously that looks like it would be a pain to work on. Because I have big hands and I don't think I can get my hands in there. So... The belts are facing the firewall, which means the rear of the motor is facing the front of the car. So I imagine if you wreck this thing, you could total out a motor real easy. Uh, if you look, there is your flywheel with your clutch. And then right there's the back of your transmission that comes down and it goes alongside the motor and your half shafts come out the side of the block out to your front wheels. So it's front wheel drive with the motor facing the wrong way. And it's just, you know, a sob thing, I guess. But like I said, this car will be crushed, so no worries. But I figured I'd show you guys that one. It's a little different. Haven't had one of these coming yet. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.